So for a Muslim without knowing and just saying that I cannot believe in it, it is wrong. What we have to do, you have to ask the person who knows. And irrespective whether the science has agreed with or not, what we have to do, if someone quotes a hadith, you have to first ask, is the hadith authentic? And if the hadith is authentic and say, as a Muslim, we believe in it. Amanna sadakna. If it's the verse of the Quran, we check it, it's part of the Quran, we believe in it. If it's a hadith, we verify whether it's authentic hadith, whether it's a say hadith, and we believe in it. Then later on, we can do research whether science has agreed with it or not. But science is not the criteria to identify whether we have to believe in the hadith or not. To identify the hadith has to be believed or not, we have to check its authenticity. And that was discussed by, by me a few sessions earlier. How do we check the authenticity of hadith? So if a muhaddith has said a say hadith, we believe in it. Whether science agrees with it or not. But alhamdulillah, there is not a single verse in the Quran which has gone against any scientific fact. It may go against scientific hypothesis, but not a single verse of the Quran has gone against any established scientific fact, alhamdulillah. And I've given a talk on Quran and modern science, which deals with it in great detail.